another one out there. Come on, look at that. <laughs> I realize that you guys are in the wind, okay? I got that. I got that. But listen, all you need is your eyeballs to see this. On the uh, old school sonar. I'm still using old, old school sonar, okay? And I'm going to show you. Let me get down here so you can see real good. What it looks like. And they hold here all year round, okay? They hold here all year round. All right, you can see I'm coming up on where I'll be fishing. And I'm just going to show you. We're going to probably make a little bit of noise. Um, but without some some form of electronics, I'm not pushing you guys to 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 go in any direction, okay? But you, in order to be able to see, to know the fish are there, your confidence level rises. Okay, you see them down there? Kind of got stuck on something right there. Let me go this way. Let's go this way so we'll be able to see. These branches, th listen, this tree is way out there, except it's just underwater, okay? You see the fish in there? The blue items are the fish and the red is the hard bottom. That's the bottom. So right now I'm in the water temperature is 70 degrees. You guys can see that? And I'm in 10 feet of water. Okay. And look how close we are right now to where we'll be fishing. Okay. You guys see that? Watch this. Watch this. See the fish down there? See them right down there? Six feet? Five feet. Okay. You see them down there? Those are crappie. And every now and then a catfish may be down there or a big bass sitting down there. Okay, and we swing out this way a little bit. Let me, let me show you in proximity where the tree is. See the tree? Okay, As a matter of fact, you can see the roots all the way up there. See how far it comes out? 80 feet. 80 plus feet to be exact. See? Okay, so listen, that gives me confidence. I know they're down there. It's just a matter of me presenting what I need to present. You see, now I'm in 13 feet of water. The water temperature is 68 degrees. Okay, and they're suspended. You can see them in there. They're all down in there. Okay? But it seems to be the active fish are at about six and a half, seven feet. Okay? Let me show you the proximity again, where we are. All right? You see that there. Okay? Look at them. Seven feet. Seven feet. Nine feet. There's a big one right there at seven feet. You can see them sitting down there. You can see them. Okay, so listen, the wind, we got gusts coming. I'm going to get ready to, to hook it up, and I'm going to show you on cutaway. I always, matter of fact, let me show you again now. Look at that. Look at them fish down. And they hold here all year long. It's just a matter of you catching them when they're very active. That's the whole thing, okay? So that's why I tell you guys on my last episode, you're going to cut through some small ones, and every now and again you pick out the big ones that you want to take home. Okay, right now, again, we're waiting for that water temperature to get down to about 64 degrees. That's when they're going to be in big water. The crappie are going to start feeding on shad, getting ready to conceive. All right, so listen, you can see the gust, the wind is blowing me back. I'm going to put you back on the pedestal, guys. Thanks so much for coming out and joining me today. Um, listen, I'm doing simple stuff. I'm doing very, very simple stuff. You guys know me. I always do simple stuff. Okay, look how long that tree is again. Look at that. It's all the way out here, 80 feet. And it stretches on further on out. Okay, it's just as you guys can see right here. Look at this. Look at that. See how it's suspended down there? Five, six, six feet. Look at that. Fish all in here. Now, understand this. You're going to donate some, some tackle. Okay, what is that old saying? If you're not getting hung up, you're not crappie fishing. That's part of it. Let me put you guys back on the pedestal. I'm going to show you my specs, what I'm using. Let me tell you what's on fire right now. I'm going to tell you what's on fire. That monkey milk with that hot pink jig head. And this is what I'm going to try today. I'm going to try the hot pink jig head and I'm going to try the chartreuse jig head. Let's see which one does better, all right? Get yourself something to drink, guys. And listen, don't forget about our community on Facebook, Cam's Crappy Hole Community. It's free to join. Just click the button and, sub and, and, and subscribe, okay? That's it. That's all you got to do. Come on in. I'm looking for some moderators to help to keep the community clean. And uh, it's free. I want you guys to listen. We're approaching 16,000 members. All right. So I created that just for you a couple of years ago. And I want you guys to come be a part of everything of what I do. OK, listen, no profanity as usual. No adult situation. Uh, none of that stuff. OK, just good, clean, old fashioned fishing. Hold on. Let me get myself together and we're going to do some fishing. All right. Hank. Remember. If you can't see it, they can't bite it. And we're going to 
going to try different angles, okay? Look at that. Just like that. Yank! <laughs> Listen. All we're doing is sharpening our skills. Okay? That's all we're doing. Okay? That's that chartreuse jig head. Let me show it to you. Chartreuse jig head with that monkey milk stinger it's a 1.5 okay it's a 1.5 listen you guys sat right there in the comforts of your own home and saw with your own eyes okay a lot of you guys let me throw him let me let him go and that's an option whether you keep or not okay i'm throw i'm letting mine go matter of fact you guys i'll be letting a lot of fish go this year i'm not really all that interested in keeping fish because somebody got to clean them and guess what it ain't gonna be cam Oh, we missed it. Yank! Look at that. On the way down. <laughs> Guys, I dropped it right back down there again. Yank! Right back down there again. Now this is, let me, let me, let me turn around a little bit. This is my theory. I'm going to give you guys my theory. If you're talking about vertical jigging, and when you get out there, let me turn you around a little bit so you guys can see me. And you get out there, you need to have a tackle box, guys, that you can hold a lot of items. Okay? Um, the items that you think that you may need, you need to have a tackle box that is big enough to handle all of that. Okay, listen, I don't care if you say, well, I think I may need it. We may be doing this style of fishing. I'm not really sure. Man, let me tell you something. If you're at that point, let me show it to you. You need one of these. You have to have one of these. Even if you remotely think that you need it, you have to have it. Look at this. Guys, my tackle box has a total of 20 pounds. This is 25 batteries in here. Look, bobbers, bobbers, cams, curly tails, blue chartreuse. Look, look at this. Camo line. I got everything in here. Look, that's just the top. You can put a 12 pack of Coke in here, just in the top. Okay? And look, let me see if I can push you guys back a little bit so you can see me. Look at this. Look, we ain't even fishing no more. Look at this. Look at that. Look at all the stuff I keep in there. Shades. Everything that I think that I may need, I keep it in here. This is my quick release items here. Okay? Things that I know that I need on the fly, like those, those 116 number four hooks. Look at this. Let me show this to you. One of my scullies. No, I'm sorry. Two of my scullies in there, in that compartment. Look. Backpack, the straps, breathable, cushion. And look on the front. Wait a minute. I'm not even finished. Look. Look at two pair needle nose pliers. All this is cam. And I ain't even got to the good part yet. Look at this. Anything that you think you may need, you better carry it. Look at that. Hope you guys can see that. Four compartments. I manufacture items. And two of the compartments I ain't even opened up yet. They still look brand new in shrink wrap plastic. Okay? Guys, all you got to do is go to camscrappyhole.com and you can pick it up. And listen, it also comes with a nine foot ten foot you can get it as a, as a kit all together okay so that's up to you so anything that you think you may need you need to take it with you when you go fishing plus there are cleats on the bottom so that assures that it stands upright no matter how much stuff that you keep in there look let me show you this look um, on those side pockets right there look I even keep my my, my lip balm my lip In case you get on the water, lips get chapped. I'm just telling you, guys, I don't go, when you guys purchase from me, I don't, let me pull my shirt down, I don't turn around and buy a $30,000, $40,000, $50,000 dollar boat. My money goes back into research and development because I'm a crappy fisherman. We, some of the rods has taken us over a year to build. 
through trial and error, we get them, no, don't like it, trash it. Get another one, break it, because it's not strong enough. Get another one, don't like the color scheme. It takes time to do all that. It takes time, okay? This, my 10 foot rod and reels, they were 11 months in designing, 11 months. We had the foregrip here, it's too short. One time we had it too long. Guys, the back, it wasn't balanced. Uh, when we put the reel on, wrong reel, we had to create that as well. The color, the paint job. Um, guys, all that stuff takes time. What I do is I put that money back into D&D due diligence and it benefits you guys. I'm not a selfish cat that goes out and buy me a $4,000 um, live something. I'm not going to give the name, the credence to it, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay? Um, making, you know, $400 payments, $500, $600 payments on a boat. I don't do all that. You guys have seen me fish with the same little boat. Same rod and reels that I designed, same tackle box, same hoodie, same shape, all this stuff you can find on camscrappyhole.com. But listen, I'm going to give you more of my specs when I do a cutaway. Let's see if we can catch some more fish. The reason why, because the wind has died down. Now I really need the 132nd, but I don't feel like cutting and retying right now. So I got one pole laid down, and I got the other one in my hand. One of them running the hot pink, the one that's laying down, and the other one's the chartreuse. Let's see if we can, which one we have better luck with, the chartreuse or the hot pink. Look, the hot pink. Hot pink. Look at that. And remember, this one was sitting still. Okay, the hot pink. This one had virtually no movement from it but the boat. You got to keep your eye on everything when you're fishing. Remember that you, you put two poles in the water, but you have to remember that you got two two poles in the water. I'm going to take my time and get him off of here because I don't want to hurt him. You see they're starting to lose color just a little bit. He was out further away from the structure. Okay? He wasn't really close to it. Let's release him. Next, on what I'm fishing, uh, be prepared sometimes when you're vertical jigging or you, you know we're in between that funny season right now. Uh, you may get in there, catch six, seven, eight fish, and crappie will cut off. They're just funny like that, okay? So just kind of be prepared for that. Um, I want to do this quick cutaway so you guys can see and not wonder exactly. If you guys haven't figured it out by now how I, how I do business, it's very simple. I give you my intel right up front because technically I work for you guys, okay? We're not sponsored. As you guys heard me say on one of my videos by some huge conglomerate company. You can't, you know, we're not dealing with the big box stores. I'm a crappie fisherman. I manufacture my own products. I take those products, what I know is good, because over the years of me catching crappie, and I bring them directly in your living room. That's all I do. I don't do anything other than that, okay? Um, so I know they work, okay? Every product that you purchase, every rod and reel that you purchase from me come, comes with a one-time accidental replacement, no matter which rod and reel that you, use, that you get for life. If it's your fault, you roll it up in the window, you go into your favorite hole and you hit a bush and it snaps, all you gotta do is call me. You ain't gotta get send me pictures and all that and hey man, look, let me, let me, I gotta ship it back to you. You don't have to do that, okay? You don't have to do that because everybody that get their items from me, they're satisfied, okay? Um, you don't have to, let me send you the ride back and you know we have to go through returns and all that, the front office. Um, you know, that's just the way we roll, okay? Because I know that accidents happen. They happen, okay? So, listen, I want to get that out of the way real quick. Don't forget about what I mentioned to you guys. I want you to take advantage of after pay or shop pay, depending on which store that you're in, okay? You'll see it at the top left or right-hand corner, after pay, and also shop pay. That means I break everything up in the payments, okay? So it makes it easy. And I think I need to clarify this. I'm getting ready to run into the, the bushes. Let me kind of push away real quick. And you guys can see I have on my blacked out titanium hoodie. Okay, that's my signature series. That's the best that I have in a 6.6. Okay, that's the best rods that I have. I got the uh, Matrix Red. I got the Thunder Blue. I got the blacked out titanium. I got the White Ghost. Uh, I got the Orange Poseidon. Uh, I got the Viper Red. I got the Silver Stallion. That's my 11 Ball Baron reel with the carbon fiber 6.6. You'll see me use those in the spring. I'm using 
that monkey milk stinger and I want to show you the difference and I want you guys to be able to physically see the difference this is a 1.5 this is a 2 inch stinger shed don't confuse the two don't conflate them okay this is the 2 inch this is the 1.5 and I'm having a blast using this sometimes I go with the 116 I love the 132 because it falls slow but when the wind is high I have to switch over to the 116 okay but either way I'm still running that monkey milk stinger Okay, I love that monkey milk. So I use, matter of fact, let me show it to you right now. You can see the wind's picking up right now as we speak. Look, this is the hot pink. Let me see if I can get it turned around here. I got one of them laced with the hot pink monkey milk. Okay. And I got the other one laced with the chartreuse. And both of them are fire. Both of them are fire. Let me show it to you so you guys can see it. Okay? These are all nasty bin hooks. And I want to kind of cover this with you guys while I got you here. Let me pull myself back out. What's the difference between my hook and everybody else's hook? I manufacture my hooks. Okay? There are sickle hooks out there, but nobody has a hook as, as sharp as Cam. Nobody has a hook sharper than Cam. Okay? When you get my hook and you touch it, you automatically know how sharp my hooks are. When you have a sharp hook like this, guys, that could be the difference of that crappie staying in the water or in your boat. That's why you want that nasty bend hook. Okay? The number two, the number six size, uh, the ones, the one odd, all of them are nasty bend hooks. Whenever you buy something from me, it's always the nasty bend hook. And every hook that leaves out of here, guys, goes through my hands. I have to test it. And if I get it and I do this and it doesn't stay, I don't ship it to you. That's how formal I am with my items, okay? So, you can see right here, I'm so detailed. You can see right here, I got my rod marked with a permanent marker, okay? That lets me know I'm at six feet. And I was running six and three quarters, okay? So I know any time that I pull from here, it's six feet, and I can just eyeball it from there, six and a half, six and three quarters, seven feet, to where the crappie are. That's how, that's how anal I am, okay? Um, let me show you what I'm running. And, and listen, I, wanna, I want you guys to understand this. Um, my, rod, my rods come with a serious backbone, okay? But the carbon fiber acts as a natural conductor. Anything taps it, short strikes it, you're going to feel it. Why? Because your entire hand is on my rod. Now, watch the videos. You'll see I don't hold my rod here. I don't hold my rod here. I hold my rod here. If you hold here and here, you're carrying the reel. I designed it so you don't have to carry the reel. You're holding here. That's why we extended that foregrip. So all you're carrying is just the rod. Okay? It's equivalent to three pair of household scissors. And that carbon fiber lets you know that anything that touches that rod, yank, you got it. Okay? And that backbone is serious. Whether you're catching a 16, 17 inch crappie or whether you're catching a 10 inch crappie, it's going to let you know what's going on at the other end of this rod. Okay? So, these are my yank sticks. All you got to do is go to camscrappyhole.com and pick it up. Uh, if you want a larger selection of kits, go to Cam's Crappy Combos. We've got two stores, and I want to say this while I got you guys here because if I don't say it, I'll forget it. I'm telling you, I know I'll do that. When you go into Cam's Crappy Combos, you'll see a red banner. You see that at the bottom of the top. You can port between the two stores by clicking the banner. Okay, if you don't care, if you're in, on my website, Cam's Crappy Combos, you'll see the banner. You just click it, you go to camscrappyhole.com. If you're in camscrappyhole.com and you see the banner, the red banner stretched all the way across the, the entire screen, just click it. You can port back between the two stores, okay? Um, but I want you guys to make sure that you take advantage of Afterpay and that you take advantage of ShopPay. So let's say this rod right here is $200 and you decide to go ahead and drop this in your basket, you would check out how you normally would, okay? But my finance company, if you choose to go through Afterpay or ShopPay, at the, when you get ready to check out, all that is due is $50. Now, once you pay your $50 with your credit card or your debit card, we automatically ship it to you, free shipping, okay, with my finance company. All you do, all you pay is $50, okay? So you still can make your car payment without a problem. You just skim a little bit off the top, get you a pole, Two weeks from now, after you get paid, look, another payment is due. It's bi-weekly. And at the end of you paying for this rod, four payments, all you pay is $200. So it's virtually the same thing. It's like layaway. Okay? 
you're just doing your thing you're able to afford afford the car so it's like leasing because of your own home and you get to watch now let me tell you this i'm watching i'm actually watching the line that's why you have that high vis on there i'm not watching the pole i'm watching the line Yank! look at that look at that that's the chartreuse <laughs> guys listen this is a perfect way to end this segment i want to tell you guys listen get out there and try something new get out of the goat trail of what you normally like to do and try to catch some crappie try to do something challenge yourself i want to challenge you guys to challenge yourself and listen everything that you see here in the comforts of your own home you can get just by sitting right there in the comforts of your home you'll see cam's crappy hole down there at the bottom and we also sell all this in the kit too we sell them separately the monkey milk by itself and we also sell it in a kit okay guys i'm going to continue to fish a little bit more i don't even know if i said yank when i pulled him out of there you know I, I have to say yank that brings me good luck believe it or not i'm superstitious guys so listen until next time keep those hooks wet keep those lines tight and we'll see you on the next turn <laughs>